I've always wanted to be on YouTube ever since I was like nine because it's something I've had a passion and an interest for. It'll end up being great. Hopefully I'll end up being a big YouTuber. About four months ago, I quit my job and I went for what my dream is. Yo, thank you guys for watching. Um, If you liked the video, I make prank and vlog videos just to get people's reaction. The kind of pranks I do is I've watched pornographic videos in public libraries. I've went around pretending to be a blind man with a blind cane. No. Running into things and tripping over. In one of my pranks, I got kicked out of an Uber. I basically just called up my friends and we had kind of very inappropriate conversations. You just gotta be rough with me. Smack me around. So will you be able to pick those up tonight so you can shove one of the strawberries in my I definitely thought it was funny. My mom, she just doesn't understand what I'm trying to do. She thinks I'm trying to go out and just make stupid videos. I did give up a good paying job, but I don't regret it at all. In my old job, I was making about $1,000 a week. Right now, I'm making no money for my pranks, but I'm loving every single minute of it. I'm very fortunate to still live with my mom. My mom pays for my food. She puts the roof over my head and does everything a mom should do. I know one day I'll end up being a big YouTube star. I 100% believe I've done the right thing for me in my life to quit my job and follow my passion. Well, Angela and Robert, TJ's parents, say they will support TJ in any of his dreams, but they both say TJ needs to get real about his financial future because right now, well, YouTubing isn't exactly paying the bills. You want to like smell each other's shoes? I got those hot dogs for you. Oh no. I had no idea TJ wanted to be a YouTube star. <laughs> TJ had a really good paying job. He was doing really well. And out of the blue, he just ended up quitting. TJ, at the age of 20, graduated college with all A's, was earning over $60,000. Now, given this up, we told TJ that he's not just gonna make social media videos. He can't just screw around. The YouTube videos that he makes, uh, I don't understand the humor. They're just juvenile in nature. Do you think that's funny? I don't think it's funny. I want to support my son TJ, but I want him to make the proper choices about his future. This is completely out of character for TJ. This is nothing. If you would have told me two months ago that this was going to happen, I never would have believed it. I'm not sure if he's going to make it as a social media star. This just isn't going to pay the bills. I don't think TJ's being realistic at the moment, and I would like for Dr. Phil to help bring him back to reality. Now your idea is to make outrageous videos that your hope is that they'll go viral, right? You can say outrageous. Some of the stuff I've done has definitely been outrageous in a way. The one where you had the cane and the glasses and running into the counter and stuff, I find that very offensive to the visually impaired. And I think most people would. Um, the good news is nobody's watching them, so. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Not many people are watching them right now, but. Good news and bad news. Uh, so what did you think when he came home and said, I'm quitting my job? It was jaw-dropping. And we're like, this isn't the son that we raised. This wasn't the goals that he had set and we had talked about for the past couple years. Yeah, I was literally sitting on the couch and got a text message from him and said, I'm thinking about quitting. Um, Angie had called me and said, you know, He's, he's thinking about doing this, and I was like, no, don't, don't worry about it. He's not gonna do anything brash or anything like that. And I got up the next morning to go to work, and his car was in the driveway, which it shouldn't have been, yeah. and uh, was just shocked.